All right, YouTube, have I got a really cool knife for you. It's going to be kind of a quick video because I got to go to work here shortly. It's early in the morning. And I have for you the Topps Missile Strike. This may be the coolest fixed blade I've ever seen in my freaking life. It's a quarter inch thick, nice heavy stock with probably the most wicked fighting blade you'll ever find. That quarter inch thickness continues through the blade all the way up to there where the tip starts. And this tip is probably, you know, an inch and a quarter long, something like that. Nice jimping, really big thumb guard there. It's got a lanyard hole so that you can Go from this lanyard hole to this lanyard hole, you know, to have something kind of that holds your fingers on there so you don't drop the knife. I don't really do lanyards, um, other than maybe something like, you know, my Kershaw Camp 10 where I'm just going to be swinging that thing like crazy. I really don't use lanyards. I just really wanted to show you guys this real quick. Absolutely incredible knife. I do also have the Topps Black Rhino, and I noticed that the grip on this missile strike, it's um, micarta also, but it's a lot more textured than, you know, say the handle on the Black Rhino, which is also micarta, but it's like a lot more smooth. This stuff here is very, very grippy, and I really like it. Got one heck of a pommel, glass breaker, skull buster, pry bar. You know, you could really get some leverage on that if you needed to try to pry something open, I guess, or just bonk something. And this blade, one of the coolest things, um, I know my knife reviews are not rehearsed, and there's probably things that I skip over, but something that I did want to show you real quick is the balance point on this knife is right at that forward um, finger, you know, um, groove in the front of the handle. That's where the knife balances, which makes it just extremely fast in the hand. You know, if you need to turn like, you know, pokey pokey and then turn and go the other way, pokey pokey. <laughs> um, the thing is just really nice. It's well built. Very heavy duty. And I'm trying to do this one handed here. But I love this view of just how symmetrical this knife is. And that how the blade, the center line of that blade just is in direct line with the handle. And I just think that's, you know. That shows some of the engineering that makes this a pokey thing. This is designed for poke, poke, poke. That is what this thing is made for. That's what it was born to do. Um, for me, because I'm not looking to poke people, I'm, I'm no longer in the military and stuff, so I don't need this for, like, you know, combat. I think that this knife would be an incredible pig hunter. Now, Topps also makes a wild pig hunter, which is a great, big, huge, long, sharp, super awesome knife. But I grew up raising hogs, slaughtering hogs. I've been hog hunting. This six-inch blade will do anything that that bigger knife will do. And just my opinion look a whole lot better doing it. Um, I'm kind of in love with this knife. And this is going to be my hunting and, you know, pig hunting knife. I would not recommend batoning with this because, you know, that the, the top of the blade is, is you know, very dagger-like. Now, the one I got does not have the double edge. This can be sharpened, and you can actually request that it be sharpened from tops. 
if you want to pay the premium price from their website directly, you can request that this comes sharp. I know that a lot of states have laws against double-edged weapons, so I figured this is a pretty safe bet. It's still going to penetrate just about as well, but it's technically not a double-edged knife because I can do this and not cut my finger. And you can see the coating. It's got this really nice, you know, like military tan color, tan coating with sort of a black pepper in it. And how the top edge of the blade, you know, has that coating on there. So that it's not double edged. Even though it's shaped like a dagger, it's not a dagger. At least that'd be my argument in court. Um, but I don't go to court because I don't break the law. Super cool knife. Six inch blade. This is probably... If I could go back in time, back into the Marine Corps, back into action, and pick a knife, holy mackerel, this would be the one, dude. Good knife. So there's only about three or four videos on YouTube about the missile strike. That's why I just wanted to throw this out there. This... Knife has been out for many years, and I don't see it getting a lot of attention, and I don't understand why. Because the moment I saw this, I was like, yep, I'm buying that. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care how much it costs. I don't care what it takes to get it. I don't care if I have to chop off my left pinky toe and mail it to them to get the missile strike. I'm going to get the missile strike. This is by far the coolest thing I have ever seen. Well, coolest knife I've ever seen. Made in USA, which is always good. Now, I do not knock knives made in China. I actually own several really good, really cool, well-made knives that are made in China. But, made in America is always nice to see. And I know that a lot of hardcore knife guys, you know... They get upset about people buying knives not made in America. So, there you go. Blammo. Made in America. Hoorah. Missile Strike Z1069. Well, at least the last two digits are my favorite number. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Super cool. Super awesome. I'm going to do another video and show you the sheath. Um, it's really awesome too. I need to figure out how to set up the sheath for scout carry. So we will go over that next time. Um, thank you and enjoy.